Good morning viewers, you're welcome to this morning's nugget. This week we've been focusing on the church. Who is the church? What is the church? Is it important to belong to a local assembly? And taking us through this week is Miss Rita Navdua Gibu. And so today our focus is going to be on the purpose of the church. We, ha we are the church, we have been called out and we've been called to function in a local assembly. Why, why is this important? That's what we're going to talk about today. Yes, Rita, why, why, what's the purpose of the church? Why should we assemble? Why should we be set apart? Why should God invest so much in the church? Yes, I'll still go back to the verse where Jesus said, I'll build my church mm. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Mm. That means that he had he had a purpose, he had an intention in mind mm -hmm. to say so. And that means that our existence, our functioning should be directed to him. Whatever we do, we should have a bias mm -hmm. that is pleasing to him. Okay. So I'll take us to a very interesting um, scripture in First Peter 2, 9 and chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. It says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light mm. which in time past were not a people but now but are now the people of god which had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy mm. so the big thing i'm pointing out here is that we are here to show forth the praises of god yes our lives whatever we do whatever we, we, we focus on, at the back of our mind should be to glorify Him. So it God uses us as a billboard, him. like exactly. to display to the world. Yes. Okay, that's yes. very good. So that when people look at us, they are able to glorify God. When and people like, look wow. at the way we function, the difference we are making in the world, the lives that we are impacting, mm. when they say God is good, He receives the praise. Amen. He receives the glory at the end of the day. So wow. that is why we are here. Wow, that's yes. very good actually. And even I think in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10, the Bible says God's intent was that now through the church, the manifold, his manifold wisdom should be made known. The church exists to display the manifold wisdom of God. But this time, initially, Rich has been explaining, he's using you to broadcast, to show off to the rest of the world. But also God boasts to principalities and powers and rulers and authorities in the heavenly places that this is what I can do through the church. So the church is very important because you're, represent, you're an avenue through which, we are an avenue through which God is displaying of his splendor and glory to the world. But also God is displaying of and showing of his wisdom, his manifold wisdom and power to the authorities and rulers in the heavenly places. Yes. That's all, Rita? Yeah, so you realize that even, for instance, when we hold crusades, or even just in church, mm -hmm. and somebody walks, I mean a lame person walks, somebody receives healing, God is displaying his yeah. power, God is displaying who he is mm -hmm. and what he can do through the church. Yes. So when you and I share in that, God receives the glory. We are the billboard yes. to display God's glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. And any other reasons, any other purpose? Yes. And Is then, God just showing us off and then we can boast about that and stop there? <laughs> no. Mm. The other reason is for us to fulfill the great mandate mm. as given in Matthew 28, verse mm. 19 to 20. Mm. Yes, we are here to go out to preach the gospel, to win mm. souls into the kingdom of God mm. and to not stop there. Mm. He goes ahead and says, Baptize, teaching them and baptizing them into the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. So we are here for a great commission, for a mm. great mandate mm. to extend the kingdom of God. That's why in the Lord's Prayer, there's a part that says, "Let your will be, let your kingdom come, and let your will be done on earth as mm. it is in heaven." So we, we establish. Are the vessels, yes. We are the avenue through which God establishes His will. Yes. Very interesting. Actually, in Ephesians 4 as well, I think you've noted, I like Ephesians. Yes. <laughs> the Bible talks about us coming to the, the stage of maturity. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 13. Yes. So the church is also an avenue where we grow, where we mature in unity, 
in Christ so that we can be able to 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 participate in the mandate of God upon the earth so that we can be able, because it's only mature Christians who will understand what God has called them to do and then extend that mm. to the extend that mandate to the rest of the world yeah. mm. and you know God has deposited that's why Jesus say that I give you power and authority mm. there are things that God looks down at us and he expects the church mm. to do something about it because mm. he has vested his power and authority in the church mm. the church is like his car mm. it's like his vehicle that he uses to reach out to the rest of the world yes so we have we are carrying god we are carriers of god Amen. we are not an ex, a, a, an ordinary group of people that are yes. just gathered we are but we're peculiar here. people yes we are here for a divine purpose Okay, thank you yes. very much, Rita, for that. Members and viewers, you've heard, we are the church. God has vested a lot in us. He uses us as an instrument through which he can extend his mandate on the earth. We are his billboard <laughs> to display his glory. It's through the church that he's able to display his power and his glory. Thank you very much, Rita, for sharing. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, viewers. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah.